Hey guys, so today I'm gonna make a quick video just going through all the level 30 rewards you get from the clan. We managed to get to level 30 world first. So you can see here we have quite a lot of experience when it comes to just overall and also number one in conflict as well. But they're pretty close actually. So starting at level 2 you get the, the clan vendor, right? Which is this guy right here. Glad you're here. Nothing too special really. You see I haven't even bought this hat. <laughs> Guess a uh, spoiler for later. But he do spawn items here, but sadly like the gear score is so low. I'm not really sure how this one works, like maybe it will be updated later. But I don't know, there's a lot of items here at least. Hopefully this will actually be useful though. Like it's too low gear score, right? But that's... But that's the reward for level 2. Then for level 3 you get 5 new borders for the Exigna. So you have to go in right here. Go to the Xigna. I think you have to be like high rank to do this actually. But it's right here. There's a lot of different ones that you can use. So basically that's what you unlock. Not too much. It's just the border though, right? So that's what you get at level 2. Then if we go back here. At level 4 we get the bounty board. Which you can find right here. There we go. You can see the bounties here. Yeah, you just unlock that, right? And I mean, some of these rewards are, you're gonna get multiple times, but you get more of them, right? Then at level 5, you get the tier 1 cash. It's like the weekly cash, right? Let's see if I can find that. The weekly cash, right? This one. You can upgrade all the way to gold. Guess that's the first one, it's the bronze one. And then at tier 5 you get tier 1 grade to the insignia, just what I showed you, right? Gonna go through those later, I guess. And then weekly cash slots upgrade. So increase the size and able to store 2 caches. And then at clan level 6, the weekly cash slots are increased in size and able to store 2 caches. So it should be right around here. You can store up to 2 caches, right? Take a look. I got everything you need. Then we go back. And we go to number level 7. You get the clan vendor upgrade that I just showed you. Just more items, right? Then 8 and 9. Uh, 8, you get more insignia ones that I just showed you. Clan bounty board upgrade as well. It's more bounties. Then at level 10, you get tier 2 for the insignia. And you also get 5% more clan experience, which is pretty good to get. Then 11, the weekly cash loss are increased in size. And you can store free caches, what I just showed you showed you right then level 2 you upgrade the, the clan vendor once again level 13 more exigna borders level 14 more bounties level 15 a tier 3 grade to the exigna level 16 clan vendor upgrade just vendor upgrade again then level 7 we actually get something interesting right here so we can go into cosmetics and I will show you what you get. So I think that one, I think that's the bandana with the headset, right? It's the first like cosmetic item you get. And it will have, as you can see, it's uh, the same color as our banner, which is pretty cool. Then let's see, where, where were we? <laughs> uh, bandana, right, with headset, yeah. Then at 18. You get the additional Exigna borders again. Like, I, I don't really like them too much, to be honest. Then upgrade to the weekly cash, 20% chance to give an extra item. Level 20, you get the tier 4 grade to the Exigna once again. 10% more clan experience. Level 21, we actually get a raiding bonus. I mean, we haven't started that yet, but that will be useful when that comes, comes in, right? So 15% increased clan experience. Level 22, another cosmetic items. I guess these are like the, the cool stuff with, with the clan. Like we get some exo exo exotics. We get some uh, cosmetics, right? So that's the one we get right there. Baseball hat. A lot of people have actually asked how to get this one. But yeah, it's uh, tied to the clan rank, right? Then we... Let's see. Banana with headset. Nope, we already know. Okay, baseball cap with headphones, right? 23 additional Exigna borders. We're gonna look through them all later. 24, you actually get a clan conflict bonus. 
So if you play conflict with a team of four from the clan, you get 25% experience. It's a pretty good way to get clan experience, even though conflict, I mean, it doesn't give you too much experience, but 25% more, it's definitely worth. Level 25, tier 5 grade is added to the Exignia. 26, additional raid bonus. I mean, this one is pretty huge though, like 30%. If you have a team, if you have a team from the clan, right, that does it, so pretty good. 27, we get another cosmetic to re represent the clan, right? So we can check that. I think that's the one I just bought. Because I haven't checked this out too much. But yeah, that's the one we get. And I'm definitely going to use that one. Look at that. That one looks pretty good, man. And yeah, same with this one. It got the theme of uh, the color theme from the clan. Yeah, that one was pretty good. I like that one. And yeah, we go back to the clan. 28 additional Insignia borders. And 29 weekly cash upgrade. The weekly cash now have a 50% chance to give an extra item. Not bad at all. And then the last one, level 30. Tier 6 grade is added to the Insignia. And the clan now generates 50% more clan experience. So I guess we can look at all the Insignias that we got. Like if I look at all the... If we look at all the rewards you get, I'm actually not too impressed, right? It's like not too much you get. Like getting these right here, I mean, they don't change it too much. I mean, it's cool and all, but I would like to see some more stuff added to it. Re rewards, right? But maybe that's something they will add over time. I think the clan system all in all is actually pretty damn good, right? But yeah, like all of these, I guess we can check through them all just quicker so you can see them. How they look. But yeah, it's not really more than that that you get though, but I mean, it's definitely worth to be in a clan. I guess that, that's all for this video, guys. A really short video and hopefully a few of you guys actually like this one. I not, was not completely sure if, if I was going to do it though. But I know that some people have asked for the cosmetic hats. I thought it just tied into the video, right? And it also was actually pretty cool we managed to get the world first though. Like, we have a super hardcore clan. A lot of people have asked if they can join. Truth be told, we are completely full with a long waiting list. And we only have super hardcore players. But yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you are interested in more Division 2 videos, just make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one.